as earlier here on the show Banda Banda and the Crocodiles will have their pre-album launch this coming uh, weekend at the Market Theatre and uh, the John Gunny Theatre Banda Banda is acknowledged as uh, an expert uh, uh, bass player with admirable people skills he delivers his music in an, uh, a very interesting way and over the years he has also taught with the industry's giants such as uh, Umams Bongilo Kumalo uh, Ubrahim Asikela and I think I remember him from uh, Usi Stanji Somazwai as well Bandes Banda joins us now in the studios in Johannesburg to talk to us more about his new project, of course, than his journey in the music industry. Put yes. this up on Njani. I'm happy. Yeah. Am I right to say that I actually remember you back from uh, performing yes. with uh, Sandy Soma as well? I've been working with uh, Sandy so, uh, since 2010. Okay. So it's been seven years now. So yeah. probably if you've seen her in the past seven years, then yeah. you've definitely seen her. No, I know. Yes. Okay, so I'm right. But for how long have you been in the industry? Oh, I've been in the industry for about 15 years now, okay. and so when I when I uh, moved up to Chobe from Devon, I came to work with Mamus Bongile Kumale yes. as a young boy. So it's uh, it's been about 15 years working with different artists, doing mm. different things, mm -hmm. producing behind the scenes. You know, I've, 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 I've yeah. been here for some time. But how has the journey been? As I said, you've worked with the giants, Mamus Bongile, Oprahio, Sistandi, Swa, and you you also got to actually spend some time with the likes of Begum Seluku and and uh, Sandile it's, it's It's been great. I must say, it's it's very fortunate that if you work with uh, artists who have paved the way before us, mm. like the greats, like Brahu, you get to learn even the stories behind the music, yeah. which I've gotten to learn. And now, as an artist coming out, I'm I'm, I'm, a, new, I'm a new generation, mm -hmm. but I also have the wisdom of the past. So yeah. it's it's been really really amazing, and I'm still trying to learn more yeah. from them also because but it has too close. it has contributed yes, immensely yes, and towards no, your growth. Makes, yes, it, it makes things easier, you mm, know, because mm. now. You can't make the same mistake they made. They you know? made so yeah. now you, you're moving and also understanding how the world works, meaning how you get to be a world renowned yeah, musician. Yeah, as an yeah because I call Lula in Tlela, ne? I call Lula, yeah. I call Lula, I call Lula. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's, it's worth it because we're trying to sell, we're trying to sell a, South, a South African story within. Being a South African also is important for, for me because as South Africans, we are the voice of Africa. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so that, that's why hence the project I'm doing, infusing all the musicians from all yeah. over Africa. Yeah, tell us about that. It's quite interesting. I was actually reading that you have a little bit of everything in the team. Yes, yes, yes. I've got some Western African musicians. I've got some Zimbabwean musicians, Senegalese, Nigerian, mm -hmm. because I'm trying to make sure that the sound is one. You know, when you hear it, you don't say South African sound. You yeah. just say this is African sound. African sound. And I'm trying to make sure that we, we, we shy away from separation within our people mm -hmm. and try and, 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 and promote unity with, yeah. uh, with our people and trying to right. make sure that we grow okay. together. Okay, yeah. let's talk about this project, the Banda Banda and the Crocodiles. I mean, we, we've touched on who is in the team as it is right now, yeah. but why the idea? Okay, I, I've just said it now mm -hmm. because it's for music, M music is a voice of, for the people. Yeah. That's the first thing. So now, if you're a musician and you're trying to tell, tell a story or teach our people how to work together, how to live together, hence the project. So I'm trying to teach people that we can do things better when, we, we, when you are one and trying to remove the borders in Africa. Yeah. Basically, oh, so right. when it comes to music, there are no borders. There's no borders. Definitely just, not. Yeah, just yeah. freedom. Yes. All right. And you, you, you're having your pre-album launch yes. this weekend. Yeah, I'm very excited. First mm -hmm. of all, Having spoken about working in Mama Musbongile, the first recording I know that's famous is when Mama Musbongile recorded at the Market Theatre. Okay. So they, when I was there yesterday doing the preps and the guy was saying, who's the youngest person to record here? Was it you? And suddenly he says, no, I think you're, if, you, if you record the show, you're going to be the youngest. Oh. Because it's not easy to get to the stage because it's so iconic. So I have a show tomorrow on the 4th and 5th of uh, August at the Market Theatre, John Carney, the main stage. 
um, and the ticket's 150, and I, I, it's like it's looking like it's going to be a great and an amazing experience for everyone who's been mm. following the crocodiles. Yeah, but then there's, um, and I usually bring this question up to all our jazz musicians because there's a perception that uh, jazz is a, a genre for older generation. I like, that the I, I like that question <laughs> because I don't categorize my music as jazz. Okay. Because uh, the only thing that makes music jazz for most people is when there's no vocals. Okay. But the music I'm doing is African music. Okay. So because in African music, there's a lot of drumming and a lot of chanting. Mm. Hence, you hear the song uh, that's playing right now. There's a lot of chanting in, behind the music. Mm. So I, I, I can call it... African jazz rather because if you say jazz then you, you can take it to but Miles Davis but there's jazz in it yes, hence my question to you that for someone at your age what, what, what influenced your decision on to, this genre I think it's the exp to be able to express myself okay. freely you know All because right. other genres are, you know, there's con they, they're constrained to mm to how you're going to make a song sound, how long can it, can it be, all that. So the freedom that comes with jazz and yeah. improvisation, mm -hmm. it, it makes you even freer to express yourself and mm -hmm. how you feel and how yeah. you want, want everyone to feel when they're around you. All right. So how can people get hold of tickets to, to your launch? Web tickets uh, and web, uh, www.webtickets.co.za uh, uh, at the Market Theatre. .co .za, uh, at the door, at the venue, right. they can get tickets. All right. Definitely. Just in one word, yeah. why should I take my time out to come watch you? It's, a, it's an amazing experience. Amazing it's part of experience. history. All right. It's let's leave it at that. Thank, Thank you so much Thank and all so the best much. going Thank forward. You. Thank you. All right. That's Banda Banda and the Crocodile. They'll be playing us out here on Morning Live. Do stay tuned to that one. Let's take a break here on Morning Live.